Okay students, let us continue our topic with components of MAN instrument system. Up to now we have seen what is meant by MAN instrument system and what are the objectives of MAN instrument system and what are the different types of measurements we are performing on MAN instrument system we have seen. Let us see the components of man instrument system for that now we we are going to see the block diagram of man instrument system so in this block diagram so see here the title of this topic is man instrument system that is a human body is available and some instrument is available so try to analyze what is the concept and what is the block diagram now you have to assume right so i can give the diagram within one second so by clicking here i will uh, the diagram uh, will automatically come but the target is not from my set from your set you have to think you have to design what is a block diagram of or components of management system in that uh, particular block diagram what are the things are available first i said that man that is human body is available in instrument in instruments mean what an instrument means what so up to now we have seen information gathering diagnosis control evaluation these type of different objectives are available in all these objectives the doctors or nurses are analyzing the patient's behavior by using some reports or by using some displays that is the those type of electronic components we have in this block diagram right so we have some monitors we have some printers and we can can transfer this data from one location to another location and by using this instruments we can treat the human body okay these are all the components we have to include in this block diagram right we have to see that overall block diagram so what i have said here the first one human body is there so this is the human body so this is the human body next see here after human body of after human body next thing is what so the uh, from the human body from the human body we have a uh, lot of information for example here the folding of hand this is a mechanical operation okay so the eye eye is really responsible for vision that is for the light processing or image processing next voice this is nothing but some sound signals and smell so we can feel some of the uh, good smells and bad smells and we can feel cool air and uh, hot air like these are all the emotions are there with us so these things we have to analyze so for example if the uh, if the hot electrical activity you want to measure the for that uh, hot you have to connect some uh, wires so that wires we are connecting with using some transducers and our an instrument completely processing the human body information in the form of some signals so see here from our human body i have drawn three transducers so this is a transducer where a transducer is a device which converts one form of energy into another form of energy right transducer transducer which converts one form of energy into another form so that is nothing but as it converts non electrical energy into electrical energy right what machine will do machine process the electrical information but our human body doesn't have any electrical information it has mechanical activities that is non electrical information it has sound signals it is the uh, non electrical signal so from our human body we have almost a lot of non electrical signals so this transit users has to convert this non electrical energy into the electrical form that is the responsibility of the transit user right let us tell me what is the responsibility of the transit users the responsibility of the transit users the responsibility of the transit users which converts 
physiological information or non electrical information into the electrical signals so whatever the human body has some information that is the non electrical information otherwise we you can call it is a physiological information this physiological information by using this transducers we are convert into electrical form now at the end of the transducers we have signals human body signals with the electrical potentials with electrical energy so the electrical signals are available now coming to that this transducers are, are connected to the signal conditioning equipment so this all electrical signals we are giving to the signal conditioning equipment actually in the human body we have lot of non electrical signals with very less potentials with very less energy so this signal conditioning equipment receives the human body signals in the electrical form then it will boost up the human body signals that means uh, it will uh, add some more strength uh, and it will be available with good condition uh, what is the purpose of boosting the signals energy what is the purpose of boosting up the signals uh, the purpose is if you want to display the human body characteristics by using a CRO then the CRO needs uh, some basic uh, or minimum input power minimum signal input power for that uh, the direct human body signal cannot display in the CRO so the signal conditioning equipment acting as a mediator now it will receive the human body signals in the electrical form with the help of transducers now it will boost up and it will use to the display so it is the next part is display in this display we have CRO cathode ray oscilloscope that is displays and the next one is printers here we have printers that means a printer is ready to print human body behaviors like ECG or temperature or saturation percentage of oxygen or it may be any other information from the human body so these are all the informations we can take printouts we can uh, put on the display okay for uh, keeping on the display it needs some minimum basic energy signals that energy levels and the human body information these two will be combinedly energized from the signal conditioning equipment the signal conditioning equipment it does a very simple activity it will collect the human body information in terms of electrical signals with the help of transducers then here the signal conditioning equipment make it ready to display make it ready to store make it ready to transfer from one place to another place so see here come to the next one the next one is recording data processing and transmission of data so these signals these human body strengthened signals we have we are storing here we are storing that is recording means we are storing the information and we are processing on this data based on the ECG information we can analyze different types of heart electrical operations so how the ventricles are working in the heart and how the arteries are working and how the iota is working and what about the heart sounds and what about the electrical conduction system of the heart these are the different types of external or internal parameters of the heart these parameters we can take for that we need some data processing or mathematical calculations or maybe some other information so for that reason we have to take this information and whenever the monitor wants we have to display this information after recording after for the future purpose we are storing here in the future if you require we have to collect the data from here and we have to show here and the data processing operations also we have to show here otherwise after getting the display this displays we have to store here we have two direction arrows we have two direction arrows there is two way this is the two way we can store information from to here and these information we can retrieve from here and we can do some of the additional operations also and is the display is also same the displayed information we can store here otherwise the stored information we can display again here like we have two directional activities so this is a, a very most important step for future treatment purpose and here we have one more block the block is control and feedback 
after analyzing the signal conditioning information so we have to give uh, we have to control the heartbeats or we have to control the blood circulation system or we have to control the uh, our voice system or we have to control the respiratory system that is lungs activity you have to control otherwise you have to give some feedback information for that we have a separate section from this section what we will take uh, so whenever you want some more information from the transducers so this feedback information you are giving to the transducer okay the uh, the, uh, the transducers has to recollect the same measurements uh, after some time then what what is the status of the patient so for a human body now the internal blood characteristics or blood pressure activity or heart activity working with some conditions after 15 hour, 15 minutes after one hour after two hours the values may be get different because of we are applying some medicine for that medicine the, the, the body the internal body structure is responding or not we can see from the control part so this control part for a long time we can take all the values that means we can take continuous values we can take some periodical values so this is an optional the dotted line is the optional one the dotted line is the optional one if it is there in the control and feedback option next the one more the most important one the one more uh, uh, feedback path is there that is that is stimulus stimulus right for uh, uh, previously I said that if you want to treat the patient if you want to treat the patient you need to give some electrical signal to the patient heart defibrillator machine a defibrillator machine is used an electrical signal to the electrical shock to the heart for regularizing or it working properly in the previous condition so for the previous condition we have to give the stimulus with the stimulus we are giving to the body or some of the electrical signals it may be respiratory system it may be electrical signal it may be light information it may be any other thing it may be any other thing so these are the different types of instrumentation systems we are giving to the patient for measuring purpose we have the transit users and signal conditioning equipment to treatment purpose from the signal conditioning equipment we are going to back there is control and feedback with the help of control and feedback we have taken the stimulus and we are stimulating the human body stimulation stimulation means we are exiting the body for getting the correct operation of the human body system for uh, re for correcting the human body physiological functions so this is about uh, the complete flow the complete flow of the man instrumentation system right so take once again the summary uh, here we have the human body structure from the human body structure with the help of transducers we are picking the potentials from the human body these potentials are completely based on the ionic potentials so our electrical signals are completely based on the electronic flow so in our human body also some electrical signals are available but they are not based on the electronics they are completely based on the ions it may be sodium ion potassium ion or chloride ion so in our human body we have some non-electrical signals so in the human body the electrical signals are non-electrical signals only why because they are the ions based and some mechanical activities or some voice signals or whatever it may be these informations we are collecting from the transit users these transit users converts physiological information to the electrical signals these electrical signals are carried out to the signal conditioning equipment this signal conditioning equipment it may be boost of the signal and it may be uh, make them ready to take the printout or to make in the display or in the recording purpose or maybe taking some of the controlling and feedback actions on the body so from this control and feedback we are going to stimulus so with the help of stimulus we are giving the treatment to the human body right by the help of stimulus block we are giving the treatment to the human body right so this is about this is about the components of man instrument system this is about components of man instrument system okay note it down carefully right in the next class we will see the concept of physiological systems of the human body thank you